Hello my darlings, welcome to Vix Tarot Guidance, welcome all of you that are returning to this channel and all of you finding this channel right now. Today we're going to be doing another tarot reading together and we're going to be looking into what are a person's exact thoughts and feelings towards you right now. Before we get into this, make sure you're subscribed to this channel for more videos and if you want to book a personal tarot reading with me, you can check out the options through the Etsy shop that is linked down below. So today we have three different groups to pick from. We're going to use, going to be using a new tarot deck here, the Enchanted Furxeka, I think, Furxeka, I'm not sure how to pronounce this. It's Nordic, so it's a Nordic team, also filled with fairies, mermaids, and magic. So we're going to be using this deck to tap into some energies, to see what's going on, what your person's exact thoughts and feelings towards you. So for group number one here, we have the Six of Fire showing up for you with this beautiful card. Then for group number two, we have the world showing up for you with the lantern. So world card group number two and whoop, for group number three, we have the page of earth showing up for you. Group number three, page of earth here for you. So these are the three different groups you can pick from for today's reading. As always, follow your intuition. You can pick more than one group. You can also listen to the portion of one group and another portion of another group if that is something that resonates with you guys. So I will see you all in your chosen groups. Thank you so much for tuning in. The timestamps are down below in the description box. Hello, group number one, welcome to your reading. So you have picked the Six of Fire card for today on the topic of their exact thoughts and feelings towards you right now. So let's get into all the cards. Let's look at all of them first. So the Six of Fire obviously showing up for you. We have the Ten of Earth here, the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Water here, the Queen of Cups. And we also have the Queen of Air or the Queen of Swords. Wow, 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 interesting. So, hmm, interesting. Your person feels like they're on top of the world. They feel currently very desirable. There feels like there are two people in their lives, like there is another person, another female character in their lives that they're choosing between. So they're choosing between you and someone else. Um, you are seen through your person's perspective in a more feminine energy, no matter you know who you are as a gender, as a sex, however you resonate, this person feels like you are more of a feminine character and they, they feel like they're, they're choosing between you and someone else. They feel quite desirable right now is what I'm seeing for them. They definitely feel praised. They feel like they have a lot of pride right now because they feel very desirable in their environment. So this energy is just about your person kind of having like a bit of an ego trip as well. This is going to be a bit of an interesting reading because that, that's the energy that's showing up here. So it's, it's like your person feels so happy, so exalted that they are so liked um, and they feel like they're just kind of surfing on that wave of desirability. I'm so cool. I'm so awesome. I feel so good. Um, I'm so desirable. You know, that wave is what they're surfing on in their life right now. So that's also like their direction or their focus on you. They're thinking of you in the sense of how lovely you find them and how, you know, this potential for the two of you to have like a long term connection is definitely there. They definitely also feel like they have a lot of options also, right? So they feel like they're swelling up with pride because they also have a lot of options. Your person likes to receive recognition and admiration from the people around them. And they just really enjoy the spotlight. They like to soak up the success. They like to soak up the admiration. They like to soak up 
attention in general, right? Um, so it's almost like they felt also like they needed an ego boost and they're receiving an ego boost right now in their environment, which is increasing their fire within. Um, but also like th they're trying not to take it for granted either. So your person is not trying to take your relationship for granted in any way. They just enjoy the attention. They enjoy, enjoy the attention they've been given here. So we're just going to see what else wants to show up for you guys. They are showing up in the energy of like not wanting to make like any decisions as to who they're picking right now. They, they just enjoy having options right now and having like these possibilities for union and for long-term connections from two different people. There is an element here from your person that they love taking care of you, that they enjoy contributing to your well-being in whatever way that they can. So they're thinking about how they could help you, how they could contribute to your well-being, how they can assist you, how they can help you think through certain things or bring clarity to certain things or how they can be more nourishing and loving towards you as well. So your person is thinking about all of those things. Um, yet at the same time, you know, they're not fully bonded with you. They also feel like their options are open, let's say, to this other person that is in their lives. So let's see what else here. Spirit for group number one, what wants to show up here. So what are their thoughts and feelings towards group number one? We have the 10 of air. So there is this feeling of not being able to choose. They don't want to let you go or they don't want to lose you because of taking so much time to think what they want or think what the next action is for them. Um, they don't want to lose you. They don't want to let you go. So they don't want this relationship to be over with the five of earth. Yeah, this person also doesn't want to be left with nothing at the end so they know that they're playing a dangerous game by kind of keeping their options open to two people right um they know they're playing a dangerous game they just don't want to lose either of you is what i'm getting here so they they could have a crush on someone else as well here that's just the feeling that's showing up you know i'm not necessarily saying for all of you that your person is dating you and someone else they are however interested in another person in their life right now as well this could be like a little bit of a crush or i just find this person interesting i just find this person like enjoyable to be around it could be just that type of energy but it is showing up as an energy that is um next to you in terms of you know kind of just um giving them the sense of admiration, you know, giving them the sense of, ooh, I'm attractive, giving them like an ego boost a bit. So they get that from your relationship, from your connection, they really get that, you know, positivity and happiness and flirty behavior, but they also do get it from the, this other person. Um, it's however not set in stone. It's not like they have a relationship with this other person. It's just that there is some type of chemistry there with someone else as well. Now, your person is deeply thinking about not wanting to mess up your connection by, you know, kind of keeping these options open or by being in one or way or the other unfaithful to you. They don't want to mess things up. And I feel like they're thinking about how they can play this safe, you know, how they can um, play it safe in terms of not being unfair to you and you know how they can also just treat you well there is an energy here of wanting to be straightforward also like not being deceitful so I, I just do want to get some more cards out here just to make sure that that is the case let's see what else what I'm hearing is you have nothing to worry about. Yes, the two of water. So the two of cups, you guys have nothing to worry about. Okay, so this ended or this started on a note of, oh my gosh, what's going on? They might be dating someone else. It's ending on the note of, I might have chemistry with this other person, but they are not a threat to you. 
okay? So you have nothing to worry about is what your person is saying to you as well, right? Even if they are like seeing someone else or just kind of happily chatting with someone else or going out for a drink with someone else, if there is another feminine energy there that they enjoy to hang out with, you have nothing to worry about because they are still going to pick you over them. You're still going to be number one is what I'm getting here. I feel like for some of you, your person is afraid to mention this person to you so often or talk about them to you because they're afraid that you are going to feel like this person is a threat to you and a threat to this relationship and that you know you're going to leave them they're really afraid that you're going to potentially leave them or that them like having fun in in the most innocent way with someone else you know could could mean that that is a breach of trust for you in this relationship so they don't want to give you those types of ideas your person is worried that you might assume that from this other relationship from this other person that's in their lives as well um what they're saying right now to me is nothing's going to come out of this of this other situation they just enjoy the attention is what showing them they, they just like the attention it's it's purely an ego boost for them like look at me i'm so awesome look at me i'm so desirable look at me i'm so sexy and fun and passionate and you know interesting and so funny you know it's just like it's it's hyping up your person's ego and they really really like it you know they they do like the energy they like to enjoy uh the energy but the energy doesn't reach your ankles you know it's just like your connection is much more deeper is much more strong it's more solid for your person and they do want a union with you a long-term union with you to build on and of course we do have the two of water which also is showing up with mutual respect for you so there's this feeling of this person wanting to respect you as well right so through this possible flirtatious flirtatious behavior with someone else they're not intending to disrespect you in any way um for some of you it might not even be flirtatious behavior it can just be you know just enjoying the attention from someone else just enjoying that someone else finds them attractive just enjoying that someone else finds them interesting you know it's just an ego boost it's just purely that um but it's nothing serious it's not like your person wants to leave them um wants to leave you for them is what i want to say pardon me um they don't want to just stop your relationship for this other relationship so we have the council of monarchs here also all right so we have the emperor energy here so with this emperor energy I definitely am getting an energy of this person connecting to their female or male friends for guidance or for support or just for, you know, just just getting themselves to talk a bit more about this connection, to get some guidance, to just see some other advice from someone else. Um, their friends are telling them to, what I'm hearing is knock it off, so... I'm guessing just today, you know, if we're tapping into their exact thoughts and feelings. So they're thinking about what their friends have said to them today. So they're thinking about um, them telling them to just be straightforward, to not be, you know, muddy in any way, not to be weird or to be um, deceiving of you or of anyone else by by like engaging in any type of flirty behavior even if it's innocent and pure and completely you know just friendly and there's nothing coming out of it um it's still like energetically connecting them with someone else which is why the energy is showing up in this way you know so energetically it's still showing up in this way of this person having two people um, so I feel like their friends or their family even or the let's say elders in their life have sat them down they have sat down with them to talk about this relationship or talk about whether or not this is unfair to you group number one you know so there's definitely that you know that your person is thinking about the advice that they have received 
about letting this connection go. They are letting the relationship that they have been flirty with go with a heavy heart because it is letting go, you know, someone who is just clapping around you, like following you around, clapping and awing over you all the time. So, so it's like they're letting that go, you know, they're letting go their they're, they're just ego boost that that just incredible lust for power in a way as well. Um, that incredible sense of admiration that they're receiving from someone else. They're letting that go and they're choosing to just be who they are like themselves and to give themselves that pride and that um, acknowledgement, you know, to not have to receive it from the external environment. So I feel like this talk with other people, it could also be their therapist for some of you, you know, um, really put things into perspective. Um, it, it did give them some hard truths as well. So some truths were shared with your person by just talking with other people about their situation. Um, that has really, you know, put them powerfully in reality, which is what they needed. They, they needed that. They needed to be more responsible. So they are stepping in this energy of being more responsible overall towards you right now, towards your connection, towards treating you with more respect. Um, this person never intended to, to disrespect you in any way in this relationship. They just did enjoy, you know, the flirty, the, the flirty energy, the attention. They enjoyed this. And um, it's it's like a human fault in a way to enjoy these types of things, but yeah, like like they've been they've been put on their spot by other people, and that's where they're at right now. And they are uh, I feel like for some of you they're considering talking to you about this person. For others of you, they're just not going to mention it at all, and they're just going to allow it to leave, and they're going to focus or reorient their attention more on you, more on just focusing on your connection, on cultivating this loving relationship between the two of you, cultivating love, alignment, harmony between the two of you and, you know, getting on to more dates with you as well. This person wants to date you more, see you more often as well here, right? But they have not been like 100% exclusively interested in you. Like, I feel like right now they are um, or they're more aligning with that energy of getting more involved with you and letting go of this other energy. So let's see what else wants to show up here. Okay, so we have judgment, yeah. That's so incredible. This judgment is just what the Council of Monarchs has done to your person. The Council of Monarchs kind of just brought judgment, revelation, um, to your person, like this heavy truth was kind of, you know, pounded into them by their friends. Their friends were, or, you know, whoever was this council of monarchs, these people, um, they really sat your person down. They were like, what the heck are you doing? You have this beautiful person here. What the heck are you doing? Why are you fooling around like that? You know, so they, they, powerfully put your person in this position of justice like you need to you need to sober up it's the energy that's showing up here you need to sober up you know it's like you need to do it you need to be good you need to set things straight you need to be balanced you cannot date two people at the same time without them also like being in agreement of that you know it's like heavy truth heavy truth heavy truth revelation stop it be responsible you need to be responsible for your own stuff and own up to what you need potentially in a relationship as well with the other person and cultivate what is actually worth cultivating not just you know just run around with another person who just has like this fleeting admiration for you you know so they were met with this hardcore heavy truth and it landed heavily in them. So this is something that happened recently for a person. This landed heavily in them. With justice, they are learning their lesson of this right now. So for some of you, it could have been that they even did say, say this to you before and now they're kind of realizing how they might have messed up. Um, for some of you, you know, they could have said that they are also trying to date other people or they're, you know, just looking around a bit as well. Like they didn't, you know, necessarily um, commit to you fully. They're learning their lesson 
from all of that right now with justice here. Justice is like that energy of consequence and effect as well. So it is some karmic energy here as well. Your person is learning based on their actions, really. They're learning what needed to be done and how to fix things right now um, in your relationship, how to just be more, you know, solid with you, how to offer commitment to you right now as well, how to step up, how to prove to you and also just how to present themselves as someone who is worthy of your relationship and of your love, of your connection. So I feel like they're working on that or they're just thinking about how they could um, come back together with you, how they could start cultivating a deeper, more committed relationship with you. And also they're thinking about how to let this other person go, you know, how to just allow this to not be a part of their life anymore. They enjoy it. I, I do have to say, like, they enjoy it. We have nectar on the bottom, like, yeah. So your person enjoys this energy. They, they find it intoxicating. They are a fool for it. So it is something that's not easy for them. What else do we have here? We have the sustainer. So they're struggling with sustaining this energy right now is what I'm seeing here. Um, sustaining their current, their, their current process um, or also like what they have built up from the past so far in terms of like this other relationship being a part of their life. They're, they're struggling with sustaining that. They're struggling with um, having their attention on two fronts. So that's why also I feel like they contacted their friends or they talked to other people about all of this. Because they're like, okay, what do I do? You know, I'm struggling here. I really want group number one, but there's like this other person who's really giving me all like this attention and it feels good and I'm so admired. But you know, this this other connection ultimately is fake because this other person is not admiring them and loving them for who they really are. It's admiring them and loving them for what they think they are. So some type of pedestal idea of them. That's again, something that the Council of Monarchs kind of said to this person. It's like, whoa, dude, <laughs> you know, it, it was a heavy truth again to hear for a person. Um, so they were a bit I get, I, I'm getting the energy of emotionally beaten up by their friends or by this council of monarchs, whether it was, you know, like an elder or an older person from their family that had this chat with them or they talked to a therapist or someone else, you know, like an older brother even, whoever it was, they really put them straight. We also do have the poet showing up here with the poet. I'm getting this feeling of just liking things to be fluid. Your person just enjoys things to be a bit bohemian as well. So that's why they're really, you know, easily swayed by other people's um, approach and admiration to them because they like it. They like the attention and they like being admired and they like being loved. And with the poet, there is like... A tiny tendency that this person has towards wanting to practice um, open relationships as well. So that's something that they enjoy or just like to think about, right? So that's something they have a tendency towards. We also have the Bordeaux here. So with the Bordeaux, this is your person's karma. That's just what it is, you know, there's nothing more really to say here. Um, this is your person's karma around their relationships, how they choose to have relationships. This is something that is showing up from the past lives as well. This is not just something that is present in this current lifetime. This is something that is wanting to be healed from other past lives as well, potentially with this other person also like they have potentially been unfair to this person before or there was just some type of romance between them in some past life version but yeah this is this person's um karma also this is your karma with your person here so if you're listening to this you know if you're here with me um this is this is the karma that you have with your person as well like them kind of choosing someone else over you or them being unfaithful in some way maybe they were unfaithful or 
had that tendency more strongly in a past life and now it's showing up again in order to be healed, in order for your person to really like learn their lessons. That's why the judgment is here. Justice is here. That's why the emperor or the council of monarchs is here. It's just like this powerful call to action. Like, look at this. Look at what you're doing. Make a correct choice and know how to handle your energy better. Like the universe is just going like, dude, step it up take ownership, take responsibility, and set your life straight. <laughs> That's just a, you know, really powerful energy showing up for your person here. Um, they, they're feeling uncomfortable is what I'm going to say. You know, they're feeling uncomfortable. They're not feeling good about any of this. Um, we have the prayer. They're hoping that things work out for the best for them um they might even be praying for some of you and like praying for a release and praying for god or the universe or spirit to just hear them out and to allow everything to go smoothly um they don't want to end things with you or to have your relationship ended because of this other little interesting relationship that they have found out about so that's where they're at so let's get some more message cards for you um this has been a reading like holy on this on this message that wanted to be shared so i'm just going to get some messages here and then we're going to move to other piles so let's see group number one please spirit Okay, I have a lot of unexpressed feelings for you. Your person still has a lot to say to you. They still have a lot to share with you. My childhood was difficult. I'm trying to heal. Yeah, um, there's also like a part of them wanting attention, wanting this admiration because of their own childhood. So it's not just karmic, 100% karmic. It's also like stemming from their childhood. The wish for attention. Um, you're so sexy. So they find you very sexy. They find you very desirable, right? Um, and your person does want stuff with you. They are confused about what they've done as well. They, they're they also saying I was possessed, almost like possessed by the devil with this other person. So they're confused as to what brought on this, this type of action in them. They want to make amends to you is what I'm hearing as well. Like they want to fix things. They want to make things right. How can I like make sure that you are taken care of or that you feel good about this connection is what they're saying as well. I need to do some more self-reflection. So they definitely feel like they need to just think about this a little bit more. Um, I also like to step in their own responsibility for other people as well, for other relationship, for this relationship with you. I watch you from a distance. So this person is still observing you. They're keeping an eye on you. Let's see what else. The eye contact we share leaves me shaking. So they feel definitely like a strong, strong connection with you. We have psychic connection on the bottom of the deck. So this person feels a strong connection with you. They do feel like you guys are a solid relationship like you have this bond this thread that connects the two of you that is very very loving and important and nourishing for both of you um what's showing up as a message is also i don't know what came over me so with the queen of arrow with this other person i'm just kind of energetically drawn to the queen of air as this other person here um, this other person was was like a like a temptation for this person you know and they don't know what came over them they don't know what made them act that way towards this other person but they didn't want to bring shame to you or make you feel bad or make you feel unworthy or make you feel like you are being um just cheated on with this other person they never intended that to be the case they were just like swayed into it. Their energy, their ego was was liking the attention. That's that's what it is. And that is your person's karma. 
so you guys that's what that's what we have for today thank you for tuning in hope this resonated if you feel like it didn't resonate try to listen to something else some other reading this one was super specific so i definitely feel like some of you ne needed to hear this but it is super super specific to this specific situation so let me know in the comment section how this was for you guys thank you so much for liking and thank you so much for subscribing thank you for all your comments down below if you want to book a personal tarot reading on your own specific situation check out the etsy shop the link is down below for 18 plus tarot readings check out patreon which is also linked down below as always remember this is a timeless reading and also it is a general tarot reading so take what resonates leave the rest for someone else in terms of signs we have gemini libra aquarius over here we have cancer scorpio and also mm, pisces here what else do we have do we have we have aries over here so thank you guys for tuning in love you all so very much hope you have a beautiful day let me know how this reading was for you and i'll see you soon in the next one bye Namaste. Hello, group number two. Welcome to your reading. You have picked the world card today as you're reading on your person's exact thoughts and feelings towards you. So let us get into this one. So we have the world showing up here. We have the elder of air or the king of air. This one is the elder. However, in this deck, showing up we have the magician showing up for you guys as well and we have the chariot wow yes incredible so this is very 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 lovely energy your person with the world is ending some type of cycle in their life right now so I'm just going to share some type of some messages that are showing up for you for group number two's person, please, Spirit. Um, so they're ending some type of cycle in their life to make room for your connection, to make space for your relationship. They feel like they need to make space for you, for your connection in their life. So that means that they need to like end some type of relationship that they currently have. This feels like it's a relationship that is romantic for a lot of you because it's making space for a new romantic relationship. It could be that they are tying up some loose ends with their um, ex, with their past lover, really, um, that there could be some unhealed aspects of themselves that they just needed to release. Overall, the energy here is all about releasing the past lover energy, whatever that means, whether it's someone who is still present in their physical environment or it's someone who has been present in their emotional dimension, in their emotional space so far that they haven't fully cleansed out or cleared out before. So your person is saying, you are my light. They, they are so drawn to you. They're, I'm hearing they're drawn to you like a moth to a flame. Um, they adore you and they're working towards manifesting your connection. So a person is focused on you. They're focused on what I'm hearing is your well-being. When we say your well-being, it is meant as your and your person's well-being here. Um, with the chariot... There's this feeling of taking action. So your person is action oriented right now. They're not stagnant. They're not sitting down. They're not being passive. They're not procrastinating. They are taking action to ensure that they do come together with you, that they do connect to you in the future. Um, they don't want you to slip through their fingers is what they're saying here as well. With the magician, there is this focus on manifesting this connection, manifesting yeah, manifesting you guys together, um, if if at all possible, they want to manifest you in their lives. Um, this person is all about manifesting their desires right now to come together with you. And it's just this awareness with the magician and with the chariot, but also with the elder of air, that they are the creator of their reality. So a person has this strong awareness that they just... 
know inside of themselves that they are the creator of their own reality here. So they are creating, so the creator is creating. Um, they're creating by focusing on what they want right now. They're focusing strongly with their mind on what they want to see, what they want to create, what they want to realize as part of your relationship. They feel like they might be facing a tough challenge, but it's not a problem because they know they're going to be able to resolve it. Um, they have a lot of composure right now as well. Um, they, they might be feeling also a little bit of doubt or panic whether or not this is going to be realized, whether or not this connection is going to be realized, but it's not something that they are allowing to phase them. It's not something that they're allowing to shift them or change them or that they're allowing in. Um, it's just something that they are acknowledging, but it's not um, like they are allowing it to be detectable by other people, right? If there's some doubt, they're not allowing it to be detectable. Um, they just want to show up in your environment around you as someone who has pure confidence, as someone who is fully empowered and is 100% confident in their abilities, right? Um, so yeah, they're calling on the positive aspects of themselves, of their ego, of their conscious ability to bring about what they want, to guide them, to fill them with courage. And they also are um, almost like praying, asking not to be distracted by fears or doubts, right? That might shake them off course in this connection or shake them off course in their manifestation of your relationship, in their manifestation of what they really want to create. So with the world, they're feeling the sense of completion of this other connection, of this other thing that is ending for your person. It's like a feeling of job is, this job is well done and it is okay to finish it up. It feels like it's ready to be finished up, um, to be tied together and, you know, released into the wild again. And there's just this feeling of it's okay to begin something new again. The task is over, the job is done, and now they can just accept this new and better relationship into their lives. Like they are ready to open themselves up to something new coming in, into their lives right now, because there is this sense of completion, the sense of positive completion of the energy before, the positive completion of the past relationship. And that is allowing an influx of new positive energy, new positive um, situations, a new love relationship with you potentially in this relationship as well. So what else? Um, they are definitely what the when the elder of air, they're taking care of their mind. So there's this feeling of being just very mindful of what they're thinking about. That's part of them manifesting things as well. Um, they are keeping a certain awareness on their emotions as well. Almost like they, they're just observing with the with like the third person perspective their emotional realm every now and then there's just this awareness that's kind of floating around their emotional realm here it's what i'm getting that's kind of keeping things in check you know making sure that things like certain thoughts coming up certain doubts coming up or certain emotions coming up will not cloud their decision or cloud their vision for the future, for what they want to create. So they're kind of making sure that that is not happening. They're making sure that they have this clarity overall when it comes to you and your connection and also like the, their clarity around what they overall want to manifest in your connection. <clears throat> so let's get some more cards out here. So your person here, what is going on? Like th this is an intense energy just from a more observer space um, from a, a higher perspective. It's, it's just 
an intense time for them. It's an intense time of closing some things down in their life, ending some cycles in their lives. Yes, with the Four of Water, um, they are choosing to say yes to new things in their life as well. They're choosing to say yes to new situations, to new environments. <clears throat> this person is also, what I'm getting here is reflecting on how their boredom and overall dissatisfaction with life has impacted your connection. How they didn't do what they potentially wanted to do just because they were afraid, just because they were a bit bored or just because they were overall like dissatisfied with their life already. Also, they didn't think they deserved it is what they're saying as well. We have the five of air. So yeah, oh wow. So with the five of air, this to me feels like it's just exactly that feeling of what we were talking about before. Like your person is here manifesting and, and they're like keeping an eye on or like part of their awareness on their emotional realm as well. And this emotional realm is quite filled with some doubts every now and then. But also, I, I feel like your person is clearing that up. Um, it's like they're, they're in a peaceful way, clearing out their doubts, clearing out their devils or clearing out just this. What I'm hearing is weakness from their system. So a person could see these doubts as a weakness of their mind or a weakness of their spirit, even since it's showing up in that way. They're also saying that this is not helping me get anywhere, so I'm, I'm not going to you know, give it a lot of my awareness, a lot of my attention. What we mean by this is the doubts that they're having and these like thoughts of, oh, it's never going to work out, like any type of thoughts that are not feeling like they are aligning with their desires. Um, those thoughts are perceived as weakness from your person and they're not going to give that a lot of awareness. That's just their own approach. Um, they're saying that it's just going to hinder me. So they're just having this very shrewd approach to those parts of themselves as well. Um, personally, and that's my own personal opinion, I just want to separate that from your own, your person's energy. Personally, I would say your person is bulldozing a part of themselves by doing this, but they're so focused on like manifesting and like not being weak and not being perceived as weak that they, they just are in this flow of it. Um, so I just wanted to give that perspective out here. So let's see what else shows up for your person. Yeah, they're wanting a part of their life so powerfully that they're bulldozing other parts of themselves, but also your person is, is manifesting. So they are seeing results from this. So even though it is a bit of a violence on their own internal ecosystem, let's say, it is still giving them progress. So it's giving them progress. It is the ace of fire. Your person is seeing new beginnings arise already. They are seeing this new potential happen. They're seeing this new energy coming in for them and for you as well. Um, they're excited for this new journey that they get to begin with you or that they get to have with you. They're super excited, elated is what I'm hearing here as well. They're on a journey towards you. This almost, this energy, this to me feels like it's almost like your person is on the way to your door to ring your bell to just show up, you know? It's that type of energy. It's bringing a lot of passion to your relationship. Yeah, they're, they're choosing to bring passion to your relationship. They're choosing to bring confidence, empowerment to this connection and not their shadows, not their little devils, you know. Um, and just power transformation. Let's see what else, you guys. Let's see what else wants to show up here. I really like this deck, I have to say. I really enjoy it. We have the Fool. Yes, like the world is ending. The Fool is beginning. So with the Fool, 
we have stepping into the unknown we have new beginnings again you know it's just it's just a confirmation of what we've been saying this person has been working they've been working hardcore with all these bees here they've been working to manifest this fool like this fool is not just something that fell out of nowhere for this person even though to the outside world it might appear like that to other people like this person worked hard to manifest the fool. They worked hard to be able to trust, to be able to manifest a new beginning, to be able to have enough confidence to reach out to you and to be like, hey, wanna, wanna meet up, wanna talk to me, you know? They worked hard for this. This is not just something that fell out of nowhere. This has been a result of them powerfully deciding to end a cycle in their life that was hindering them, a past cycle, a past romantic cycle, or a past energy, and to step into a new, fresh, pure energy and a more passionate connection and to manifest what they wanted always, you know, a loving, passionate, vibrant, um, enthusiastic, spontaneous relationship with someone else so your person is also choosing to be a bit more spontaneous as they're becoming more confident and more empowered in themselves through like manifesting and thinking specific thoughts they're becoming more um more more like spontaneous and more sure of themselves more sure of their intuition as well so let's see what else here what else we have the wheel of fortune yes oh yes yes so the wheel is moving in a new direction this is fate this is destiny they they just know things are meant to be here between the two of you we have the six of fire on the bottom of the deck it's it's meant to be it's just that feeling you know it's just we have learned our lessons with the wheel of fortune this is all good fortune from now on um, it's just a victory. It's a well-deserved reward from now on. So that's it. That's it. Lessons have been learned or lessons have been worked through with the world, with the fool. This is a new chapter that is pure, that's clear, that's filled with rewards. Reaping the rewards is basically the energy here. And good luck is on the horizon with the Wheel of Fortune as well. So things are shifting. Also, like cycles are ending here, especially with the world, with the fool, with the Wheel of Fortune. There is a cycle, powerful cycle that's ending. Things aren't going to be the same anymore. Like the way that your person is acting towards you, things are going to shift in that regard um, in a powerful way. So how they have acted towards you up until this point, it's going to shift in the future in a powerful way so be open to that be mindful of that um but most of all be open to that <laughs> be open to allowing your person coming in as a transformed part of themselves so let's see what else wants to show up here we have the threshold wow so yeah this this is literally at the threshold stepping into a new reality or stepping into a new cycle right now like ending this old outdated energy stepping into a new cycle the threshold is where your person's at with all these energies here for a lot of you they're kind of already like kind of here already more into this one into that passion into that fire stepping into that fire so let's see what else wants to show for you for group number two please spirit what are their exact thoughts and feelings here they're just saying it's simple i'm manifesting you so it's just simple for this person it's simple <clears throat> they made the vow to themselves that they're going to be with you they're going to manifest you that they're going to manifest <clears throat> this connection in a pure way <clears throat> As well oh my gosh what's going on with my voice you guys <clears throat> so they want to manifest it in a pure way as well right with with this dove here it's like powerful manifestation of love <clears throat> that's something i feel like a person might struggle speaking about because my voice is just like clogging up there's something 
inside. <clears throat> bear with me, you guys, bear with me. Yeah, they're still keeping a lot of things on the inside. What's, what's showing up is that their emotions are still quite hidden from you. So even though this person is mentally in control and mentally they're manifesting you, <clears throat> emotionally, they are not ready to speak of this, of all of this just yet, or emotionally, you know, in a, in a very like open, emotional, vulnerable way, especially in a vulnerable way, they're not ready to speak of it. They can speak of it in quite a straightforward matter of fact way, but they cannot speak of what happened to them and what led to all this transformation and like the, the all the background and unexpressed feelings and unexpressed thoughts that have led to a really um, impressive, powerful feelings um, for you. They're not ready to s just be as vulnerable right now. So that's cleared up the energy. I love it. I love it when this happens, when, when you know, I just get this clogged up throat and then I speak on this energy and it's just, phew, it goes. So a person misses you, okay? So they miss you. That's their vulnerability. They miss you. They're not ready to fully reveal that. Um, they want to appear strong is what they're saying. They want to appear strong to you um, and they want to appear confident and self word like worthy of you like all of that um they they don't want to reveal how deeply they care about you how deeply they actually do miss you as well with the vow and with the empty room so how much they are craving is what i'm hearing this relationship in an emotional sense let's get one more so what else do we have here we have we have thanatos so interesting there's there's this powerful drive towards death here drive towards death towards like of a part of themselves so a drive towards ending a part of themselves needing to end something that's not feeling good anymore with tonatus there's also a lot of focus here on desire again um your person is saying and that's another one of those like more private parts of them um that they have been almost um obsessively drawn to you like like in in this seductive way in this way of wanting to seduce you feeling so tempted by you that they have felt like this incredible seductive drive towards you towards temptation towards having you like they, they have kept that to themselves and they're going to continue keeping it to themselves because it is a part of them that still does scare them a little bit it's a part of them they have not fully unraveled or understood yet. So this person has their own mysteries is what I would say to you guys. They have their own mysteries, their own emotional mysteries. This person is a very deep person as well. They're like an ocean is what they're saying. So you do only see the surface of what this person wants to show you. But yeah, there, there's a lot going on, a lot of unexpressed stuff going on down below. You're the love of my life is what's showing up as your message card. So let's see what else wants to show up for you. I hope we get to spend more time together. So they definitely want to see you more often and they want to engage with you more. That's that Ace of Wands energy here, like stepping into a new chapter. If you ask, I will come to you and let's be more than friends. Let's be more than friends. Let's look at this one first. So they want to be more than what you are right now. Whether it's friends, whether it's just partners in some way, they want to be more than that. If you ask, I will come to you. So they will come to you if you ask them to. It's all like what I'm what I'm hearing right now. It's like Dracula, you know, you need to be invited in. Um, how do you feel? So they're curious about how you're feeling how you are, you know, spending your time, how are you feeling towards them right now? Is there still hope here? Like, like, how could you or how would you want to proceed this connection? How could you and how, and how would you want to proceed this? So they're really curious about how, you know, the physical world is standing from your perspective right now as well. How, how are your like circumstances? right now to to be able to manifest this they really want to know that 
So again, it's all about manifestation for your person. Let's keep our hearts open. So they have their heart open towards you. They want to have their heart open towards you. They're still saying that it is difficult for them to reveal some things that are so deep for them, so vulnerable to them. So they really like to have just this solid trust established within the relationship before they speak about their most vulnerable aspects of the self. You're so attractive is on the bottom of the deck here. So they ultimately do find you incredibly attractive, incredibly fun, incredibly seductive and incredibly alluring. You know, there, there is that strong temptation that your person has towards you, love, almost like a drive towards that type of energy, just feeling an incredible pull towards you um that feels you know deadly it feels like it's going to end them but at the same time it's super enjoyable and and there there is like a attraction like a wanting there as well in in that energy it, it feels seductive it feels like it beckons them you know so that's where i'm going to finish this off for you guys today thank you so much for tuning in so we have cancer energies here we have gemini aquarius and libra showing up over there um we have some sagittarius energy with jupiter over here as well but that's basically it thank you guys for tuning in and for sharing your energy with me thank you for commenting and thank you for letting me know how this reading was for you thank you all for subscribing as well and thank you for liking this video of course if you want to book a personal tarot reading show up the etsy shop below show up at the etsy shop um, see what I have if you're curious about booking a personal tarot reading the Etsy shop is open so for 18 plus tarot readings check out Patreon and that's basically it thank you so much you guys for tuning in thank you for sharing your energy hope you guys are well and blessings to you see you soon in one of my future tarot readings bye namaste Hello, group number three, welcome. So you have picked the page of Earth today as you're reading on their exact thoughts and feelings towards you right now. So let's look at all these cards. So we have the apple here. So with the apple, there, there's like this original sin energy that's showing up, which is interesting. So we have the three of Earth. There's again an apple here, right? Wow. Okay, so your person feels very tempted by you. Okay, so your person is incredibly tempted by you. The three of earth is here. You could work together as well. Um, so this could be a workplace situation, workplace romance, a workplace um, flirtiness between the two of you. We have the seven of air here as well. So there, there is some energy of, I, I don't want to say deception, but it's like things are deeper under the surface for your person with the seven of air and we have death here as well right so okie doke this is interesting i do want to clarify the death especially later on um but let's see what does your person want to say let's just call in their energy a bit more um so that i can give you their exact thoughts and feelings here so calling group number three person please um all right so they're saying they are thinking about how they can how they could progress your relationship but but there is there's just this feeling of not being able to share some things with you they are afraid this relationship is dying or that it has no possibility of moving forward unless they share their emotions with you or share their thoughts with you but your person is feeling i feel like afraid or that something bad is going to happen if they share the truth of their emotions, the truth of their thoughts with you. Um, there's just this feeling of, you know, something is going to be destroyed, you know, especially if you guys like work together, have this work association. Um, they, they feel like, you know, things aren't going to be the same between the two of you anymore. If you start to have a relationship in a workplace, if you work together, or if you work in a team or work on a project, there is that tension that that is going to create is what your person is thinking, right? So it's not really that the tension is going to be created. It could be, it's a potential, but I feel like your person is just really, you know, thinking that it's going to create some type of tension if they are really involved with you. 
So a lot of you, as I said, work together or have some type of partnership, some type of mentorship, some type of association through your work that is making this connection a little bit more... <sighs> What, what I'm going to say is tense. It's just a little bit tense. It's not more difficult, it's just more tense, right? <laughs> so yeah, with the seven of air, your person is keeping a lot of things secret. There's an energy of privacy here and not revealing what they are really thinking, what they're really feeling towards you. They are very tempted to share their temptation with you though. With the page of earth here, there's this huge temptation to just share their feelings to share their thoughts concerning this relationship but then there's again like what's going to happen if i do you know they're very drawn towards creating some type of change in your relationship at this time with the death here your person just feels like they cannot go on like this anymore so however you've been going on recently or lately even if it's been for years or months they cannot continue this same process so they really really feel like they need to shift things up with you or you know this is just going to die off right so they are really just oriented towards changing things up with you guys they are interested about being realistic about how this is possible though with the page of earth they're saying and this this is like hardcore um clear energy from your person they're not interested in daydreams and it, it's coming through as an energy of just clarity and we're, this is not open for discussion. It's, it's just like this is the way that it is and that's it. You know, this is where I draw the line. Your person wants things to be realistic. They're not open to like daydreams and dreaminess and just like coulda, woulda, shoulda, you know, types of actions or thoughts, they are just interested in what is actually possible, what is actually available for the two of you. They want to take a practical approach towards this connection. The practical approach is what would best serve the two of you from their opinion or from their perspective, right? So they don't support flights of fancy or daydreams here. It's, it's just a very solid energy from your person here. Um, they're trying to focus on completing like small tasks to, to get to just a clearer perception of this relationship as well, to just see more clearly where they're standing with you. They're, however, struggling with like fully expressing themselves, though with the seven of air here, it's like your person is like looking at you from a distance and they want to step up and they want to share their truth. But at the same time, they are keeping themselves from it. They just they just feel like their knees are too weak or like their weak knees start shaking whenever they feel like they want to make a step towards you. It's just they are overcome by this energy of I can't move forward right now. So there we come towards death. So they feel like they want to change that. Um, they're very frustrated that they haven't made any moves towards you. So there's a lot of frustration build up from that. Um, just upset energy from not having made any changes in your relationship. So let's see what else wants, wants to show up here. <clears throat> So they're saying they're very tempted by you. They're very tempted by this connection. They're very tempted to explore you. For some of you, I am getting the energy of an age gap, especially like I just looked at this card and there was like this feeling of someone being very young and someone being like older or more mature. Um, there's like this age gap energy that I feel like is just contributing to this or like just a difference in status. It could be that as well. So we have the four of earth here. Yeah, I'm sitting on the things that I want to cultivate. So your person's literally sitting on the seeds that are beginning to sprout. They're not allowing the seeds to be seen just yet. Um, so metaphorically speaking, they are in some way slowing down their manifestation of this relationship right now. Interesting. And again, it's this energy of feeling contained, of being like insidely focused, but this person is giving you like intense 
energy that they, they are looking at you so intensely and you can feel this like you know you guys have strong eye contact you're going to know this like your person has such a deep interest in you and it is something that is conveyed through their eyes it is something that's seen in how they look at you and how they like direct themselves towards you energetically you feel this you feel this intensity inside of them they're so drawn to you they're so like interested in you so mesmerized by you um they want to move towards you but at the same time they're staying put you know so it's almost like this person's energy their eyes are radiating this seductiveness this temptation this lust this desire towards you but their body's like staying put you know their body's like solid i'm just sitting here and their eyes are like just showering you with all this seductive power let's say that's how i'm feeling into this relationship um so it could resonate with that you know um when you see your person where you are in like physical proximity that i feel like is the case for you guys so let's see what else we have the seven of water. So with the seven of water, there is this feeling of, am I cultivating a fantasy? So a person I feel like is just also like deeply reflecting right now on this connection. And is this even realistic? Like how realistic is this relationship? You know, how realistic is the manifestation of this relationship? Because as they said here, what did the page of earth? It's like, I don't wanna just have a flighty daydreamy connection this person wants something solid right and they are reflecting on how dreamy this potential really is and how real this potential really is on the other side with the seven of water like how how much of this can manifest in a physical world in a realistic sense right so it's that type of feeling that's what they're reflecting on right now like how real is this connection? How much of this potential that they're feeling here in this relationship can realistically manifest itself in the physical world for the two of you? Okay. And we have the four of water showing up again. We had this show up in group number um, group number two as well. Yes. So the four of water, they feel a great deal of this content. There is this feeling of just boredom in not taking action i'm hearing i am upset with myself so yes your person is quite what i'm hearing is also at odds with themselves right now especially like with this energy like wanting to make a move but at the same time not making a move it's it's really splitting them apart as well and it's bringing them in a space of confusion so let's see what else they're just saying, I want clarity. They're kind of done with it. They, they want clarity, yes. They, they want union with you. We have the lovers. We have the effing lovers. This person wants things to change towards union. A renewal of this connection or a renewal of like you guys being together. They just feel like you guys are meant to be together. And I feel like for some of you, your person is really afraid that they are just wishing upon a star, you know, that they're wishing upon something that has no potential manifesting in the physical world. So that's why they're also so kind of fixated on just trying to figure out how much potential this has to like really manifest itself in the physical world for the two of you. Okay, what else do we have here? The star so huge hope they're hoping that yes things can work out that things can transform towards you guys being in union so we have like this bundle of just major arcana cards over here and death the lovers the star here death is showing up as that feeling of wanting things to transform things cannot stay the same as they were before they want union they want togetherness this person is aware that they do need to be 
strong in themselves, that they need to have strong boundaries if they are to have a relationship with you, especially if there is some type of adversity or potential adversity from the external environment that's influencing this connection. They know they need to be strong, they need to be solid in their own boundaries to be able to maintain the harmony of this connection. And the harmony of this connection and love and oneness is key here for them. That is so important. They feel a strong connection with you, but they also know that things need to be set right. So the foundation needs to be laid out for the two of you to be in a connection with one another, for this to have the potential to grow and to realize itself, right? To become the fruit. They're hopeful that things are going to work out for the two of you with the star. They're like, okay, I know we can do this. I know we can make this work. I know we can realize this. I know we got this. So they're very hopeful. They're very focused on believing here with the star. The star also does talk about um, clearing things out. So for you guys, it's not necessarily working through some type of difficult trauma in the past for your person. It's just about clearing things out so that there is a clear space for this to be able to grow. It's like when you're, when you're tending to a garden, it's that type of feeling, you know, you need to take out the weeds and all the other things you need to do a little bit of digging here and there just to make, you know, the foundation for the seeds to be able to have enough space to grow in a beautiful way, to sprout, to have space to, um, to grow, to develop, to create this beautiful plant, you know, so that's what they're wanting to create. They want, they want a space for your connection and that's their focus here. They are a little bit afraid that they might be building or trying to build on something that's not workable. They're, they're kind of hoping that the soil that you guys cultivate is going to be able to grow this connection as well because they feel it. Like with the lovers, this person feels this connection deep in their heart. They feel it. They know it. They, they know that you guys are one. They know that they feel this strong connection to you. It's intuitive and they know it, they feel it. They know that you also feel something towards them as well with the lovers. Um, so this is soulmate, kindred soul, twin flame energy for some of you even. You know, this person wants to cultivate a new beginning. I've been looking and holding this Ace of Earth um, bottom deck energy for so long. They want to cultivate something new with you. And that's why the death is here as well. That's why the death is showing up with the lovers and the star because it's like, okay, I need things to be different. I need things to start moving. It's that type of feeling of let's just transform this. Let's just move this towards love. Let's move this towards oneness. <sighs> yes. Okay. So the ace of earth here on the bottom of the deck, it's just about cultivating the plant. So cultivating, allowing this little seed to sprout out, to come to life. We have the night of fire here on the bottom as well. So with the night of fire, there's this Again, as I said before, this lust, this passion, this seductive, this temptation energy showing up here. So I'm just going to keep it like that. All right. So a lot's going on here. You guys, a lot is going on from a person's perspective. Let's see what else they want to say. Um, okay. So we have the crone. Yes, they're trying to be wise. They're also trying to ask other people for support or for guidance. For some of you, a person is even asking their oracle cards for support here with the crone. Oops, wow, just drop that. Okay, so what did we drop? What doesn't want to be seen? Let me just get it for us uh, somehow. Oh gosh, it really fell down. We have the one. <laughs> the one doesn't want to be seen. Yes, so your person feels oneness. They feel like this is a soulmate twin flame connection, like 100% double confirmation, you guys. And this one does not want to be seen. This one's like, I'm going to flow down, flow down the table. I'm just not going to be seen at all. Um, your person is afraid of how deep this connection is as well. Um, but they feel it. They know it. They know you guys share a deep bond, a deep soul bond 
with each other. They don't necessarily know yet how to make this all work out in the physical world. So that's why that's their focus. But yeah, with the one, they feel this strong connection to you that is overwhelming, that is a little bit overwhelming for them, but at the same time, incredibly enjoyable. So they enjoy the overwhelm of it, but at the same time, it is overwhelming. It is incredible. It feels strong in their space, right? So the one, you are the one for me. We share one eternal soul. There is this oneness energy just everywhere here with your group. So let's see what else wants to show up, Spirit, please. Okay, not that one, I guess. So let's see what else. Group number three, please, Spirit. Okay, so we have the village. So with the village, the energy that's showing up here, there are more people involved here. There, it's not just the two of us. There are other people adjacent, connected to this relationship and to us figuring out our relationship. So there are more people involved. I feel like this person is also trying to look out for other people who might be involved in this connection as well as the two of you. So take that as it resonates. It could be just your parents or your person's parents, your person's caregivers. There could also be third parties here. There could be children involved with the village energy as well. It could just be, you know, just the village quote unquote of a company as well or of a project. So there are other people involved here, other people connected, adjacently connected to your relationship. So a person is really thinking about that as well. Like, how is that? So how is everything like impacting everything else? So they're kind of trying to figure out like just, just the place of this connection, the place this connection can occupy in the village. You know, the village being like this umbrella term for everything that could potentially be going on in your connection that involves other people, society at large, etc. And we have the warrior. I'm hearing never give up and never surrender, which this card is just like, I'm going to continue fighting. It's just, this person is like, no, nope, not going to give up ever, ever, ever. We're, we're continuing, we're continuing pushing, we're continuing doing, we're not giving up on us. So never give up, never surrender. It's the energy of just this. This is something that is going to happen. If it's not happening in this lifetime, it's happening in another lifetime for them. They're, they're solid in this. Okay, so we have Scorpio energy, you guys. We have um, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus over here. We also do have Aquarius and we have Gemini over here as well. So let's get some messages from your person now. Let's see what they want to say see what they want to say to you let us see what they want to say to you let us see oh we also have aries leo sagittarius here with the knight of fire of course of course we have that fire energy i'm planning to return to you so they're planning to start interacting with you more oh we have kiss me they often do think about what it would be like to kiss you to kiss you again or to kiss you for the first time if they haven't kissed you before. Let's see what else. I'm really thinking hard about us. Yes, they are really thinking hard about your connection. We need to give each other some space. So they feel like they need a bit of space right now to just figure this out, to think about all of this. Let's see what else. We have, you have my heart. Group number three, you have my heart. Just move this so you can see it. Let's be more than friends or let's be more than whatever it is that we are right now. They want more from this connection. Just being friends, it's not enough. Just being colleagues is not enough. Just being acquaintances, it's not effing enough. I'm hearing I'm done with this. So it's, it's just a powerful energy of frustration that's showing up, but also like I'm being truly done with it, like with the death. It's like this is a process of renewal. This is a process of transformation that's happening here. How do you feel? Your person is very curious about how do you feel? What do you want? You know, how do you want to proceed? How do you feel about all of this? What are you comfortable with as well? So they would like to know more deeply, you know, your own pers perception of all of this and what you feel is possible. We have true love here. Yeah, I have. Oh my gosh, beautiful. So true love. Again, another confirmation of oneness. I feel safe with you here as well. So your person feels incredibly safe 
with you. We have an open, oh no, we don't have that. We have secret crush here. Yeah. Secret crush energy showing up on the bottom of the deck. There's also some energy here of being confused that kind of wanted to show up and being in denial of certain things. I feel like more than anything, your person is afraid that they might be in denial. They don't feel like they're in denial of things. They're just afraid that they might be in denial of certain things. Because overall, it just feels like your person is really thinking hardcore about just whatever it is that they feel like needs to be figured out here. Um, yeah, your person has a huge crush on you. They definitely feel like this is true love. So there could be some, you know, just obstacles here as well presenting themselves in different ways so let me know how that is showing up for you guys in the comment section but this is where we're going to finish this off for today's reading so thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for sharing your energy if you want to book a personal tarot reading with me check out the link to the etsy shop down below thank you for liking thank you for subscribing and thank you so much for sharing your thoughts and your comments down below i really appreciate all of them <coughs> we Thank you so much for showing up. I'll see you guys soon in the next reading. If you want to check out 18 plus star readings and saucy spicy readings, check out Patreon for that. See you soon on YouTube with another video. I hope you have a beautiful day. Blessings to all of you. Bye. Namaste.